Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. According to the NEC, what is the requirement for the number of receptacle outlets in a bathroom in dwelling units? And the correct answer is D. At least one receptacle outlet must be installed within three feet of each basin. And for this one, we're going to head to 210.52D. Now, when we get to 210.52, that's going to lay out the spacing requirements for almost every receptacle that you can imagine in a dwelling unit. And for this one, let's dive to the paraphrase code language. A minimum of one receptacle outlet must be installed in bathrooms within three feet of the outer edge of each basin. The outlet should be positioned on a wall or partition that is next to the basin or basin countertop or on the countertop itself or on the side or front of the basin cabinet. Now let's stop right there and then we'll finish reading it here in just a moment. What this is saying is within three foot of the edge of that basin, I'm imagining that somewhere on this vanity the basin starts here. And you can just continue, whether you're on the left or right side, anywhere in that three-foot zone, and you could draw an arch across it, anywhere in that zone that receptacle is allowed to be placed. If we have multiple basins, that measurement starts all over again. We are allowed to strategically place one outlet to satisfy the three feet for both basins. That's okay. Because here it says three feet of the outer edge of each basin. So it doesn't say we have to have one outlet per, but it says that we must have an outlet within three feet of each basin. And this is to keep people, again, like we learned yesterday, from running extension cords, especially in bathrooms. Now let's finish reading the code. The outlet must not be placed more than 12 inches below the top of the basin or basin countertop. So we can't be 12 below 12 inches there. And then let's talk about this third part here. It says receptacle outlet assemblies that are approved for countertop use are allowed to be physically installed in the countertop, like a pop-up or something like that. Now you have to be careful with this last part here. There are two different major type of listings for these receptacles that are in like the pop-up receptacles. There are some that are listed for work surfaces and there, there are some that are listed for countertops you are going to have to have the one that is listed for a countertop if you're wanting to install it in like a kitchen island or a kitchen countertop or in the bathroom countertop. It cannot be the one listed for work surfaces. There is a time and a place for that, but it's not around heavy water usage here. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn go out and add value to other people. If there's anything that you need from me, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. If you haven't shared these quizzes with someone, share it with someone today. Maybe they can get a little bit of value as well. Let's get to it.